Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Thrifty Shopping Cart. So I am going to give you my sales for the month of August. I sold about 14 items for the month of August. I did have two that came in the last two days in September. I did not include them, but I'll give you the total at the end. I'm going to include them sort of like in my September because I didn't ship them out until September. Um, if I do sound like I'm rushing, it's because I'm on my lunch break and I'm just trying to get this video up before I go back to my um, part-time job. So the first three items you're looking at right now, these all items were purchased at the Goodwill outlet, except for one item, which is the 10 letters. That one I bought it at Dollar Tree at least two years ago. I never had a chance to read the book, so I decided to sell it. So the the amount that I'm showing you, this is after I have gotten um, my money. This is what eBay is going, not eBay, Amazon is going to send to me as a check. So this includes the fees, the shipping, and the estimated amount that they give to you. So the letter one, 10 letters, and this was a, a really good book um, of American citizens that are writing letters to the government, writing letters to the president. Um, and it, it just gives you like a background of why they wrote the letters and things like that. So I picked that book up because I wanted to read it for myself. Um, and I just never had a chance to read it. So it, I did buy it for a dollar. I didn't really make any much on it. Um, Amazon did let me know that I listed it for about 10 cents. So I actually kind of gave it away. So I made a total of $4.09, which is what... I made at the end, but after fees, after shipping, I made a dollar seventy-three. The other one that you're looking at right now is the American Greetings Creator Card. Now, I bought this at the Goodwill Outlet, and this is why I'm going to give you guys a little clue. A lot of times, when you go to the Goodwill Outlet bins, you're going to find a lot of CDs that do not have the boxes, that don't have um, the guide, that doesn't have. Um, the materials that I came with, it is still fine. You still could sell these. I sold just the CD alone with no cover, with no case, no um, book instructions or anything like that. It doesn't need a serial number. So I sold it for about $23.99. I bought it for $0.99. Cents. After fees, after shipping, I made a network of $18.65. Now, the other book you're looking at right now is The Mother of the Groom. Um, a lot of these books do very well. Sometimes I'll see um, wedding books, um, bridesmaids books, um, groomsmen. You should still pick those books up because there is money to be made of them. Um, there are people out there who, if their son's getting married or daughter, they're really involved in the wedding and, you know, they want advice from other people who has done it. So this book, I bought it for about 99 cents. I sold it for a dollar. Um, you know, I had a range of $4.99 after fees, after shipping. Um, Amazon is going to give me $2.50. And Trying to get this for you guys. Now, the next item you're looking at right now is the PlayStation 2. And this one was cards, um, like a banner that you would put over the bedroom. So this, I'm trying to get my paperwork here. So the PlayStation 2 hearts, I did not have, I just had the CD. Um, the case was kind of broken. It, it wasn't really like fully intact, but I still, um, I bought it for 99 cents. I sold it for $8.99 after fees, after shipping. Amazon gave me a profit of $4.91. Now, the other thing that you're looking at right now, the other item, sorry, is the Cars Champion Banner. Um, this, even pick these up, like anything with Disney or Cars or Barbie dolls, any type of like um, banner that you would use a bedroom. I try to pick the ones that are popular um, because there are a lot of parents out there, their, their child, you know, they're big fans of cars and they want to decorate their room. And let's see, 
so this one I don't I had this for such a long time guys I believe I had this banner for about at least three years I finally decided to put it up two weeks ago but I had it for a long time I just sat there I just never put it up I don't remember how much I bought it but I just took an estimated price I think I spent a dollar ninety nine at the Salvation Army store um, I did sell it for $14.99. It was brand new in the package. After fees, after shipping, and after um, what, um, because I took what I made, I took what I spent too. So I, I would have made $11.75, but if I was to take $1.99, I made $9.76. Second one here. And here. Almost there. I'm so happy it is Friday. <laughs> All right. So the one you're looking at right now, this is Tony Hartman's Power 90 Fat Burning System. Um, I bought this one for about 99 cents. Um, I did list. Uh, Amazon would have given uh, $18.99 after fees, after shipping, after what I spent it for it. I made a net worth profit of $13.41. And I do have another video coming up. I've just been having a lot of things that I've been working on. It's going to actually be on this video. And basically what the video is, is how you could easily mistake items that look exactly alike but just different titles. And I'll explain to you guys what I did and how I fixed it. Um, but this is going to be part of the video. So that was my profit. The next one, um, Country Guys, is very popular on Amazon and on eBay. You just have to know the type of artists. I'm not a country fan, but I just know the few common names. Like I know Garth Brooks is pretty popular. I know he has a huge fan base. So I picked this CD up at the Goodwill Outlet. Um, it did come in tack. It was, I think it was like practically brand new. I spent 99 cents on it. Um, I did sell it for about a dollar on Amazon. After the shipping, they told me I made $4.99. After um, fees and after what I spent, I would have I made a net worth profit of $1.51. I did put 250 but I meant to put $1.51 because that's what I would have got after um, I took my price off of it. And, okay, and then the other item that um, I want to share with you guys before I get back. Let's see here. Okay, so Earth to Chuck. This is a children's book. I sold it for about $4.99. After fees, after shipping, I made a network profit of $2.50. Children's books are very good to sell on Amazon. Uh, this book, I did buy it. I think I got this book. No, actually, I got this book for free. This was actually at one of my um, outlets that I go to when I go visit my parents. Um, and I'm sorry, I don't mean outlet. I meant to say thrift store. It's a mom and pop thrift store, and they were getting, like, I think it was a library that was donating books. They had trucks of books. I couldn't get them all because I just didn't have room to put all those books. And um, so, you know, there was no limit. I could have gotten as much as I want. I have, I believe I have a couple of children books, maybe 20 or 50. Um, I did decide to list at least 50, at least 20 of them. So far, I sold one, so it's been going good. Um, I just let them know that their stamp with the library name, sometimes it's made out to someone. So I just let people know those little those little details because sometimes people, you know, they might get a little iffy. So that was that book. Now this one, now this is a good little story. Um, this is the case for faith. So even going to church, guys, you could make money. And I'll tell you how I made how I made $8.00 just to go to a church for the first time. So in my town that I live, I've been trying to find a church for the last two years and I haven't really found one yet. I'm not here to preach a religion, I'm just gonna tell you my little story. Um, so I went to this church with my husband, we were new. After church, we loved what we saw, we loved the service, I mean, it was really friendly. So the pastor gave us two books. And 
I'm not going to read this, guys. So I said to my husband, oh, I'll just be funny. Let me just scan it to what's going for. Uh, because even when I'm at church, I'm still thinking about scanning books. So I did list it for, I made $8. I had two of them. Um, they weren't going for that much. I believe I, they were going for like a dollar or something. I, I don't really know how much. But um, they, I... I think I put them for like two cents or something. Just they were brand new. So they paid shipping with $7.98 because Amazon had doubled the price on shipping. So I made a network profit of $8. But after fees, after shipping, um, I made $3.32. So even going to a church, you can make money. So <laughs> that was a little good story. But my husband was a little upset that I stole it. He said I should have kept it, you know, but I'm like, if I know I'm not going to read it, it's just going to collect that. So I'm pretty sure it's going to a good home. Uh, not to give out any personal information, but the person who did buy it, um, they, I think it's a church academy, so it's going to a high school, that a Christian high school. So it is going in good hands. That makes me feel happy. All right. And, okay, so the next book I got, this was Lamb Supper. I bought this book at a yard sale. Um, 25 cents. I sold it for $7.94 after fees, after shipping. I made a network profit of $5.01. My math might be a little off. I do apologize because I bought this for 25 cents, but for some reason I put for 10 cents. So my math might be a little off. I do apologize. The next one that you're looking at right now is um, Water Drops on Burning Rocks. This DVD, I just bought just the DVD. There was no cover, there was no case, um, and I was still able to sell it for $11.99. I just wanted to know why this movie was, you know, it's still a little pricey. So there go, if you see this movie, guys, make sure you pick it up because I believe it's going for like $20 to $30 on um, Amazon. I sold mine for $8 bucks because I didn't, it didn't come with anything. But um, so basically the story... I don't really know too much of it. I think she gets into, like, um, I think she's a model, and she falls in love with an older film producer. It's kind of like black comedy, but it's a German movie. It's a really good movie. So if you do see this movie, make sure you pick it up. Um, I didn't even scan it because I couldn't scan it. I didn't even type it in. I just took it. I just liked the title, and then it sure enough brought me $8.45. So that one. And the last two, before I go back to my job, <laughs> have an hour break. I was trying to squeeze it in as much as I can. Now, this CD was brand new, wrapped in a package, get a clue. It's very popular. I was the only one on Amazon, I think it was me and someone else, someone else already sold it for $30. So with two people, myself and this person, we sold it for about $30. So if you do see the CD, this DVD, make sure you pick it up. It will bring you money. I bought it for about 99 cents. I sold it for $33.99. After fees, after shipping, I made a network profit of $26.16, guys. I mean, this was a really good one. I was really happy. Shrek is still being sold on Amazon and on eBay. So if you do come across the movies, the DVDs, the CDs, Make sure you pick it up because there are a huge fan base of Shrek. This one, I bought it for about $0.75. Cents. Um, I'm sorry. I bought it for $0.99. Cents. I sold it for $0.75. Cents. I sold it for $4.74. After fees, after taking out what I bought it for, I would have made $1.30. So that is my monthly sales. So for the month of August, I made $107.85. I spent $11.11 .11 in total, um, so that would have really brought me um, $96.74 after I taken out what I spent. So it was a really good month on, on, on Amazon for August. Um, there is no secret. All I can tell you is don't just look for movies or books that's going to bring you 60 80 400 dollars in one book buy multiple books uh, I did have a really good video 
and I um, I will link it again in the bottom and I'll also link a video on um, softwares in case if you guys want to know how to look for softwares I'll link those two in the bottom as well um, but the thing the thing I want to tell you guys is if you're one of those people you can't sell anything on Amazon you, you don't have any luck it does take time and the other thing too you have to list almost every day right now I currently have 489 items on Amazon. Half of them are not even being sold, but I was still able to sell 14. So the more you list, the more you're going to make money because you never know exactly what people are looking for. So that's why it is good to scan sometimes, but a lot of times just go with something that you like. If, you, if it's an interesting title or an interest title of a movie or a, a CD or a book, pick it up because a lot of times my instant has brought me money. Um, so that's why I think it's really important that you guys look at the other video that I have. I went into a little bit, not too much detail, but I gave a little hints and stuff like that. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I do um, I do apologize if this was like all over the place. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get back to my other job. I, I only have an hour lunch break, and I was having such a hard time trying to film this to begin with. So I do sound a little rush, but I will do an update video on um, on why I pick these movies and DVDs and books and stuff like that. So I will be doing a questionnaire video. So if you guys have any questions for me, put them in the bottom. So that way, when I do the update video, I could answer some of the questions that you guys left for me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.